Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video here on Go of the Temper Gaming. Today I play three more Steam demos so you guys don't have to. So I hope you guys are excited because we are going to jump right in. Tiny Tales is a hidden object game in which you have to find the differences. Only in Tiny Tales you don't spot the differences in static images, but in 3D environments where each scene tells a different story. Each level has three difficulties, three, five, or seven different objects for you to find. But these difficulties also increase how much there is to see in a level, so you really gotta focus. The game also has a hint system, which removes the items from the level that are not involved in the difference that the hint is trying to make you find. To be quite honest with you guys, I don't have much more to tell you. The game is as easy as that, it's a find the difference game. We all know it, some might even love it, but I do think this is a good idea for a relaxing game. It stimulates the mind to focus on something and to be honest, it is quite fun when you finally find all the objects. Tiny Tales is set to release in December 2024 so get ready for some relaxation during the craziness of the holiday season. Elementalist is a movement puzzle platformer in which you have to collect your abilities to be able to complete a level. After collecting one of these ability orbs, you will have only one use of them, so be wise what you pick up and when. Because the order of the abilities is important too, because the last orb you pick up will be the first ability you will use. The game has a simple art style, which isn't that appealing to me, if I'm being honest. The idea of the game is fun, but I have to admit that I personally didn't enjoy this demo. That is not to say that somebody else couldn't enjoy it, because I can definitely see this game being popular, it's just simply not for me, and that's okay. Elementalist is set to release in 2026, so if this does look interesting to you, you will sadly have to wait quite a while. But this is also good news because that means that the developer has quite a bit of time to still work on it, so he could add things, he could change things, maybe he will release another demo and I can check that out again for you guys. So just keep an eye on it. Europa is an action-adventure 3D platformer in which you have to run, glide and fly across the landscape to solve mysteries in the ruins of the fallen utopia and discover the story of the last person alive. It has surpassed my expectations in every way, this place. I don't know what I expected. They've given me a few days to adjust, but I can't make my mind believe that this is real. The air tastes like water, and the water tastes like wine. The gardeners have turned this place into a paradise.
Europa is set on the moon Europa, a lush terraformed paradise in Jupiter's shadow. Europa is a peaceful game of adventure, exploration and meditation. As you travel around the ruins of Europa, you will gradually upgrade your abilities to fly and glide around the world. The game has an intimate story about growing up and humanity's relationship with nature, which is clear from playing the demo. Look at the gardeners. They came to this moon as mere tools to prepare for our arrival. But through a thousand years they've evolved into a whole ecosystem mimicking the biodiversity of old Earth. I can't wait to learn more about these creatures, to live among them. They are family now. Europa is a beautiful game with a cute art style. The movement of the game felt a little rough sometimes, but that might have something to do with the fact that I was playing on a controller, or maybe it's just a demo thing, I don't know. I really enjoyed this demo though. It has a relaxing vibe to it, but you also get a sense of adventure, and I personally really love that. Europa has no release date just yet, but I recommend you guys keep an eye on it, because this could be an amazing game. Well there you guys have it, 3 more Steam demos that I played so you guys don't have to. I hope you found something to look forward to. So thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, but please do let me know by leaving a like down below and a comment on which demos I should try out next, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!